What if the Big Bang made equal matter and antimatter? Everything should have vanished in a flash. So, why was anything left to make stars, planets, you? Here's the mystery. For every particle, there's an antiparticle. When they meet, annihilation. If the early universe consisted of a perfect 50-50, we would get only light, no atoms, yet we live in a matter-dominated cosmos. Physicists think the early universe cheated, just a tiny bias, about one extra matter particle per 10 billion. That sliver survived after the rest annihilated. How do you bias nature? Enter Sakharov's three conditions, baryon number violation, reactions that can change the amount of matter, C and CP violation, subtle asymmetries so matter and antimatter don't behave exactly the same. Out of equilibrium conditions, the hot expanding universe gives reactions a one-way push. We've seen CP violation in certain decays, kaons, B mesons, and we're hunting more at experiments like LHCB and Bell 2. Another pathway, leptogenesis, neutrinos with weird, heavy ancestors might have tipped the scales first, with the imbalance later converted into baryons, ordinary matter. The universe likely kept one extra matter in 10 billion through tiny rule bending in the first instance. Without that cosmic imbalance, there'd be no galaxies, no chemistry, no us, just a bright empty afterglow. If you enjoy the type of content, subscribe and comment below what you found most fascinating about this theory.